Hi everybody, welcome back to my CT70 rebuild. We got a new motor in the mail today. So in this video, we're gonna unbox the Piranha Zongchen 212 engine. So when I started building this bike, I spent a lot of time reading on the forums, lilhonda.com and planetminis.com. These days, it looked like all the cool kids were putting in Zongchen 190s. However, I saw on Wholesale Cycle, they have pretty much the same engine, just bored out a little bigger. They label it as a Piranha 212 with electric start right around 1100 bucks. Now, I probably could have gotten a lot cheaper by ordering directly from China, but this way, if I have any issues with it or it gets damaged during shipping, at least I have someone stateside I can talk to and get support. And man, I'm so glad I did because that's exactly what happened. So the first thing I noticed when I opened this box is that there's actually a little bit of oil coming through the box. And it looks like we have a little bit of up top too. So this is also for documentation purposes, just in case there's any parts broken. Before shipping, they're supposed to drain out all the oil. I inspected everything and there didn't seem to be any damage. My guess is that the box got turned upside down and any remaining oil leaked out of the crankcase ventilation tube on top. All right, let's open this puppy up and see what's inside. First up, we have a grab bag of electronics. Looks like a wiring harness and electric start controls. We'll open this up a little later and show in great detail. Next, we have the gear shifter, comes stock with rubber attached. And this is the Kickstarter lever. The end is textured, but without any rubber. This bag contains the air intake manifold, gasket, and hardware. Opening up this box, we find a 28 millimeter carburetor. It says it's manufactured by Keyhen, but it could be a cheap knockoff. In any case, it seems to be pretty decent build quality. This is the on-off toggle key switch. And look at that, they even threw in two keys. Now we have the electric start controls. These feel extremely cheap to the touch. While I'm not complaining that they included them, I'm definitely switching these out for upgraded controls. This little black box is the CDI module, or Capacitor Discharge Ignition. Its job is to make the spark plug fire. Next up is the voltage regulator slash rectifier. This device takes the current generated from the alternator and converts it into DC power to charge up the battery. Here we have the starter relay solenoid. This gets used when you press the engine start button. Here's the clutch cable for shifting gears and the throttle cable, which attaches to the carburetor. This hot mess is the wiring harness. All the plugs seem to be decent quality and each of the wires have different coloring schemes. And finally, we have the spark plug wire and the sprocket cover slash chain guard. Now let's take a good look at the actual motor. I mounted it on an engine stand that I got from Trail Buddy. These little stands are awesome by the way, super highly recommended. You can see that the engine seems to be in pretty good shape. The oil that was all over the inside of the packaging leaked out of the breather tube up at the top of the crankcase. Flipping it around, you can see the sprocket and that little green wire there, that's the neutral indicator wire. I'm really glad they put that little piece of tin foil over the air intake to keep the insides clean. So that's it for this unboxing video. Hopefully this helps somebody out there who's trying to decide what motor to put in their Honda Trail. The jury's still out though on the reliability. Uh, I'm not sure whether this thing's gonna be a maintenance nightmare, but I guess time will tell. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it down below and I'll get back to you. And if you wanna stay updated as I rebuild this Honda Trail, mash that like and subscribe button. Thanks guys, see you next time.